Hello out there in YouTube land. Um, old Farts Tips here. Just going to give you another uh, tip or idea that I've had over the last 51 years. Hopefully it will help you and your family and your life make your life a little bit uh, better. Okay, what I'm going to do here in this video is uh, address um, floods. Okay, flood waters or, you know, toilet that overflows or your sewer backs up or if you got a septic system it backs up or whatever uh, any place you, you don't that you, you get water that you don't want the water okay nobody likes water where you shouldn't have it you know um, floods floods are bad okay bad floods are bad water where you don't want it bad okay so now wouldn't it be nice if you knew that something that's getting wet that you, should, that you don't want to get wet okay let's say you got a uh, you've got a kid and he likes to stop up the toilet or he likes to take uh, baths and the water overflows or whatever and the water goes on the floor well wouldn't it be nice to know that uh, this was happening because that way you could obviously run and stop it turn off the water if you have a basement that you know floods or something backs up in your basement and the water starts to flow wouldn't it be nice if you somehow got alerted to that okay well that's what I invented now I did this many many years ago out of net need basically what I did is I invented a uh, a device okay now this can be look like anything you want but here's my device now it's crude there's duct tape um, I know duct tape duct tape you can use for anything basically what I did it's a piece of wood okay now what I did is I drove galvanized nails through this wood I just drove them right through the wood alright and I've got eight galvanized nails here you want to use galvanized nails because um, you know if it, if it gets wet continuously they won't rust now, this one's been wet a few times and it's not bad there's some corrosion here but as you can see I mean this is pretty old and again, um, uh, you know, if you watch my other tip for batteries, I've got a 9-volt battery hidden in here. And uh, I think it's a 9-volt battery. Yeah. yeah. See, you can see it there. You can see it. 9-volt uh, battery. See, 9-volt. All right. I might even have two of them in there. I think I do. I've got two 9-volt batteries in there. I think they're in series. That gives you more voltage. Now you want to put them in series because then you get more voltage. Well, what does that mean? It'll last longer because as the voltage diminishes, um, it will last longer. Now I coated these with uh, Vaseline or grease again, so they'll last a long time. You want to do that. That's in my other tip. Coat them with gas, Vaseline or grease. It'll last longer. Okay, I bought a buzzer. This is a buzzer, or it might be a beeper. I don't remember. But from Radio Shack, and I think it's a 16, 18 volt, 20 volt, something like that. You want to buy, you know, if you're only using 9 volt battery, then obviously you can use a 10 volt, 9 volt beeper. If you if you got two 9 volts in, in series, um, that gives you 18 volts. Then you want to get use at least a 20 volt because you don't want to burn it out. Okay, so you drive the nails through, and you can make any configuration you want. Basically. Um, what I did, see if you can see here, as I ganged, these two nails are ganged together, they're soldered together, so they're like one. These two are also ganged. Um, these two are ganged, and these two are ganged. Now, I strategically did that, see? Uh, just because when I designed it, that's just what I did. You can do anything you want. Basically, the circuit is, it's very simple. Uh, the voltage goes from the battery through this maze of uh, nails here and then to the the beeper and then the other side of the buzzer goes directly to the battery basically what it does is very simple when water um, makes the connection water is conductive now uh, pure water distilled water is not conductive what's really conductive is the minerals in the water people don't know that um, so I don't know if this would work with rain or not. Probably not. But I think there's enough minerals in the, in the rain today where it would. But, but anyway, 
normal water has plenty of minerals in it and it will conduct everybody knows water conducts electricity but that's why I'm getting off subject here but anyway water will connect the nails and you get a beep as simple as that and, and the circuit is very simple um, now the way I've got this wired up let's see like if this one connects to either one of them it'll beep or either one of them I don't remember but basically you want all the nails to be level with each other if you can see that it's kinda of like a cootie thing or whatever you know a toy but it's got like legs it's like a it's like a four legged an eight legged whatever spider I don't know so you want to you want to make them level so it so it sits there it doesn't wobble it, you know it's going to wobble you can design it in any way you want but if you set it like that and it gets wet it's going to beep okay that's the whole point but you want all your nails to touch at the same time and how you can do that is you bend them you just you know you take a pair of pliers or if you're strong use your fingers you bend these so all the nails are touching the surface at the same time that'll give you maximum sensitivity um, so if just a little bit of water goes in there, it's going to beep uh, because the water will make it conduct. Now, the good thing is in this design is the battery will last a long, long time. I mean, if you've got, it'll last the, way past the expiration date because there's no battery usage unless there's water. If it's just sitting on cement or carpet or anywhere you want it, you could put this anywhere, carpet, cement, anywhere, it will not conduct so the batteries won't be used until you get water and when the water goes it'll beep and you can run downstairs turn off the faucet or do whatever you need to do to stop your water problem but this will alert you okay I know what you're all thinking does it work okay it works I want to prove it to you alright so here I've got a pan and here's my device I'm gonna put it right there I'm gonna set my device in the pan as you can see the pan is dry completely dry perfectly dry pan okay there it is everything's perfectly dry I'm going to put it in there all right and I'm going to set this down and it sits pretty level in there and there's some raised thing in there or whatever I don't care all right so there it is see it now here comes the water all right I got water just plain water from the tap nothing fancy I swear it's just plain water from the tap okay take off the cap there's the water all right now, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. I'm just going to pour water in there. Let's just see what happens. Now here, you can hear it. It's just, it's just a tiny bit of water in there and you can hear it. You put more water in. It gets a little louder because it's more, con more, it's more conductivity. Louder and louder yet. Now there you go. Now you hear that? You hear that continuous sound. Now you can get these in beepers too that will beep, beep, beep. But this one just continuous sound. You hear that? You know something's wrong. Go figure it out. Take it out. Nothing. Because you're not conducting anymore. There's no more water. You can see the water in there. See it? Put it in there. Beeps. Now this is old. This this is really old. I've had, you know, so the batteries are very old. This thing is used to be much louder. It's probably really loud by that. Uh, but if this had fresh batteries in it, this thing used to scream so loud. It would, wow, it'd wake you up. But, you know, that's still, you can hear that. So, that will alert you of a water problem. This could really save your basement, save, you know, you get it's just and you could set it anywhere you could put it in your bath bathroom your basement um, you can put this anywhere and it will it will really help you again you just take wires and you solder them wrap them and solder them wrap them and solder them just so any configuration so if the water I think I've got this right now so if the water goes from here to here it'll beep let's see yep so there there it'll beep there there it'll beep that doesn't beep, that doesn't beep. That kind of beeps. What the heck? I don't know, you get the idea. I mean, I built it, it works. See? 
that will help you okay okay this is it uh, I'm not gonna go on and on but you can design it any way you want um, those are the basics this will let you know if there's water and it's homemade this is cheap at Radio Shack I bought this it's very cheap two batteries oh and I did buy some battery um, clips some you can get them at Radio Shack cheap they go onto the battery and they've got wires they snap on or if you got some old radios you can take parts off an old whatever this is really the only thing you need to buy everybody's got wooden nails laying around but you, you should use galvanized nails so they don't uh, rust up on you that's a good idea but other than that it's a cheap device um, you can make them you can make a bunch of them put them in the problem zones and it will tell you if you have water okay another old farts tip and I uh, hope you found this useful again there's my uh, there it is please subscribe please like as much as you can I'm just trying to help people out and click on my uh, video for more videos okay thank you